All right, Tasha, thank you so much for joining us. So excited to be talking about your season of The Bachelorette. And I want to start at the, the very beginning of your journey. How do you find out that you're going to be The Bachelorette? Do you have like a heads up that the call might be coming? No, not at all. I mean, if I had a heads up, then I wouldn't have been eating donuts in my bed. I would be working out. Um, no, I, I had no idea that that phone call was coming in. I actually needed a minute to make that decision. I didn't just say yes right away. I needed to talk to my parents and just really evaluate. Um, but I left within about 48 hours or so. Are you a little bummed that you had kind of the quarantine bachelorette experience as opposed to the the travel the world one, especially because I, I know you're somebody who likes to travel a lot. I do love to travel. And yes, initially I was so bummed. Um, but you know what? I do quote unquote travel. So just give me a minute, just keep watching and you will see that I actually go multiple places. <laughs> That's amazing. That, what, what are kind of the most fun parts about, about your debut episode was getting to know a bunch of these guys from really the first time. So. I'm hoping you're game to do a lightning round with me. We're gonna hand out some high school superlatives and maybe a few batch related superlatives. Are you, are you game for that? I'm game, let's go. All right, who would you vote in Tasha's mind best style? Who had the best style in the house? Ooh, easy. Easy? Really, what was it about easy style? I mean, he just always, like he owned it. Like he always had like such fun suits and the best pocket squares. Like he just always looked so good. <laughs> yeah, I, I, think that, I think that fits. Now the, the show's obviously about romance, but who had the biggest bromance in the house? Who were the two that left as BFFs? Oh my gosh, you know what? So many of them did. Um, I think Kenny and Blake, were bromancing for sure. There was a lot of them. Like Brendan and, and, and Joe also had a bromance. But to be honest with you, at the beginning, I thought I was walking into a bromance because they were all like so kind to one another. Like, can I have her for a minute? And they'd be like, oh, you can take five more. Don't worry about it. I was like, what is happening here? They're so sweet to each other. <laughs> if you had a second first impression rose on night one, who would it have gone to? This is a juicy question, okay. Um, I would probably say Brendan. Brendan, who rocked the turtleneck in Palm Springs in like 110 degree heat. I love it. Oh my God, I loved it so much. I thought it was great. Great style, you know what I mean? Maybe the runner up for best style too. Okay, the, the, the final one, because it seems appropriate. Who was the best kisser of the group? <laughs> you know, a lady never kisses and tells, but I will tell you, they were all really good kissers. <laughs> Well, that's great. <laughs> that's, we, we, we like to hear that. Okay, finally, as, as we wrap things up, I, I feel like I'm obligated to ask, are you happy with how your journey went? Did you you find love at the end of this, this crazy summer? You know, I am very happy with the way that my journey went. I think that I was really myself and that's all I can ask for. And um, we just have to continue to wait and see what happens at the end. But yes, I am happy. Good. We're so glad to hear it. And Tasha, we're so excited to see how everything plays out this season. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You have a good day.